you're a homeowner in East Dallas or you're looking to become one, you're going to want to listen up because I'm sharing the one and only clickbait and BS free housing market update that you'll find on the internet or anywhere for that matter. Stay tuned for an update that delivers the straight goods on housing sales and hidden insights from someone who actually works with home buyers and sellers in the East Dallas market every day. So before I get into the stats from November home sales, I'm going to take a minute to define where East Dallas is located so that we're all on the same page about the areas covered in this update. Basically, this market update includes all single family homes from Central Expressway to the eastern border of Dallas and from Northwest Highway down to I-30. Here's how it breaks down by zip code. East Dallas includes 75204, 75206, 75214, 75218, 75228, and a teeny tiny portion of 75223. In November, there was a 3.1 month supply of single family homes available for sale in East Dallas. That was the same amount of supply that was on the market in October, which is a little unusual because normally we see inventory start to drop off from October to November and then drop even more in December and January. If you've watched my market update videos in the past, then you know that the amount of supply and how quickly it's selling determines whether we are in a seller's market or a market that's more balanced between supply and demand, or if we're in a buyer's market. 3.1 months of inventory means that East Dallas was still in a seller's market in November. Now, here's the pro tip or caveat to this stat. Right now, a seller's market with 3.1 months of inventory is a little different than the seller's markets we've experienced in the past. Why is that? Because sellers aren't the only players in the market. You have to factor buyers into that equation as well. A lot of buyers have decided to sit out this period of higher interest rates. So in reality, inventory remained low, but buyer activity has also dropped off over the course of 2023. So sellers still need to price their home appropriately and prepare it for the market. So if you want to know more about preparing your home for the market, watch my video, 11 tips to help home sellers get top dollar in any market. There's a link to that video in the description below. So how many days did it take for an East Dallas home to go under contract in November? Well, for all of East Dallas, it took 31 days on average for a home to go under contract. This is how long it's taken to sell most homes in East Dallas throughout the fall. And it was in line with days on market from November of 2022. So once an East Dallas home went under contract and closed, how much of the seller's original asking price did buyers pay? Well, there were 129 East Dallas home sales that closed in November. Of those 129 sales, 50 homes sold for 100% or more of the seller's original asking price. On average, the list to sale price ratio was 95.5%. That's a slight drop from 95.7% in October and 95.9% .9 in November of 2022. Interest rates have moved a lot since my last update. Essentially, we ended October with mortgage interest rates at their highest point in quite some time, about 8%. By mid-November, they dropped to around 7.5% and today they're at 7.1 to 7.2%. This drop in rates definitely spurred activity. Personally, I saw four of five competitors for one of my upcoming listings go under contract as soon as rates dropped. The average sale price can vary quite a bit from month to month in East Dallas because there are a lot of different types and sizes of homes in our area. So for example, if you have several large or more expensive homes sell in one month and then smaller, less expensive homes sell the next month, there's going to be quite a difference from one month to the next. That being said, the average sale price of an East Dallas home in November was $620,000. That was down from $764,000 in October and $686,000 in November of 2022. Broken down by zip code, Prices were up year over year in all East Dallas zip codes, except 75214 and 75218. So one of the best indicators of what lies ahead for December is to look at how many home sales are currently pending. When a home sale has shifted to the pending status, it means that the buyer and seller have met their contractual terms and they're simply waiting to close. Right now, there are 69 single family home sales in East Dallas that are pending. This is down ever so slightly from November of 2022. On average, these homes were on the market about 47 days before going under contract. Let's recap. 
Overall statistics show that our housing market remained healthy in November, despite higher interest rates. Supply or inventory for all of East Dallas held from October to November. 75204 had the highest amount of supply, while 75214 had the least amount. In November, it took about 31 days for an East Dallas home to go under contract. That's pretty much in line or the same as October of this year and November of last year. And lastly, East Dallas homes are still selling pretty close to the seller's original asking price and we are still seeing some homes sell over the seller's asking price. So whether it's new household formation or workers being located from other parts of the country, people still want to buy homes in East Dallas. Here's my final pro tip or hidden insight, and this is directed at home buyers. I know that people tend to shift their focus from home buying to family and the holidays during this time of year. If you've been looking, don't put your search on pause now. Keep looking so that you can take advantage of higher inventory and lower interest rates. So as you process this information, it's a lot. Um, it's really important to understand that macro level statistics really only scratch the surface for market activity. The bottom line is that whether you are buying or selling, your situation is unique and a general market update should always be taken with a grain of salt. If you want an accurate market analysis for your home or you're thinking of buying and want to know more about hidden opportunities in the market, you can either request a free, no obligation market evaluation or book a call with me to have a no pressure conversation about your options. I will always just give you the straight goods so that you're informed to make the best decision that's right for you and your family. If that would be helpful, contact me directly so that we can set up a call. Otherwise, feel free to check out my other videos and I'll be back next month with another updated clickbait and BS free report. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.